So here you go. There's a the rear end all stripped out. And you can start seeing on the uh, passenger side where the rust is coming through. That's all going to get cut out and done. Main part of the turret looks good, but uh, certainly needs doing there. And that's not the worst of it. This side looks right. So you come into here. You may or may not be able to see, but you can see right through there. Um, try and get to the. There is a hole. And the entire inner arch, both sides, is really ruined. The alarming part, you come around here, a lot of rust, and there you go. There's a hole, there's a rear damper. So your seat belt mount's up here, so it's kind of out of the way, but your rear seat back mount is right there. So this whole thing needs to be cut out and double strengthened. And there's a little bit of rust down here, and so when they start cutting, they'll find other things. And if you pop inside, you can see it. All of the, the inside of this arch all around here, and the inside of this one's all gone. So we're going to get someone to take a look at that. It's going to cost a fair bit, but the rest of the car is so good, it's worth trying to save. Hopefully we'll get them to do some videos or photographs as they go through the world in process. Uh, but it is beyond my ability to do that, and frankly, I'm going to drive in a neighbourhood where they're not living next door to a car repair workshop, so it'd be unfair to do all that work here. Um, so there you go. Slight setback. We'll keep you posted. Hello everyone. Uh, we've had the car sent away to a professional to get to fully welded up. There's a massive amount of uh, corrosion. Um, rust holes and everything found in the driver's side uh, sills, um, passenger side sills or rockers as they're called in other parts of the world, uh, inner and outer, some floor pan work needed doing and a lot of work needed doing in and around the rear suspension turrets um, and all of the inner arch uh, arches have been uh, rotted through and they've been replaced. So the guys have get, got it back to us, it's taken a long time, we've had to order some panels in from Japan, it's taken a while to arrive, it's done now, um, so I'm going to give you a quick tour of that. But the next job for me to do is to start reinstalling the interior. Um, then we're going to get uh, the drop links done on the front and the MOT inspection, safety inspection done. Uh, and then it's uh, ready to go. So there's been a lot of work done all around the bottom of the turrets here. Whole new plates put in on the top, and down the sides here and here. And over here, additional work done to patch this up. More plating and patching done here. Down at the front. And more plating done here as well. Um, at the top as well. You can see a substantial amount of work's been done just on these turrets alone. We come inside here, hopefully you can see. Uh, all the arch has been repaired and replaced. In our arch. It's all been well treated with um, stone chip, H primer, stone chip paint, and uh, it's all been done. The outer seals are done, and there's a, there was a huge piece of rust up here as well that's all been cut out and replated. Underneath this plastic cover, all the way along, all the outer seals have been done. You can see where the overspray is uh, on the uh, stone chip paint. So. So this is all or part of the interior components I've got to fit. I'm going to start by putting all the interior uh, sound isolation in and here's some more components over here. Going to work that out for us. Just simple plastic clips that pop in. Just like these, using these as my guide. up there. This panel goes in. Need the screw. Has to be that. Okay. 
Okay, so look at the guide here. The seat clasp is supposed to come through there. So I think these are upside down, being put back on upside down. Let's go and unscrew those and take a look. Fix the box and just uh, flip the plate round. Take them back up again. And that should all just fit. And it does. So rather than down there, it should be up through there. So that's good news. So now I need another square fitting for here. Uh, and that first piece is back in. Perfect. No other fittings needed. That's in. Happy days. Let's get the uh, soundproofing on. it together. Now it's time to put the last, the last inside trim ring, then we'll put the, the cap on top of the turret. Then the inside is done to layer the boot stuff in and put the final trims on the roof up here. Ooh, here. There we go. And down here, all the boot in, then the seat bench in. This one's got all of its uh, locating tangs or lugs intact, so this should clip in quite nicely. Okay, so that went in really well, putting the uh, mountain screws, one behind here, one here, one here, all the snaps went in really easy. Good. There you go. Test the seat belts. Uh, good. in Boot flooring Let's get this trimmed on okay. roof trim now there we go that's in uh, now I need to just get the seats in. Okay, so now we're onto the rear bench seats. Um, there's a 60-40 split uh, rear bench seat, so we're going to do the largest seat first. That may be the right order, I'm not sure. 
uh, and then the smaller seats. So one thing to note, um, uh, just here, there's a pivot point for the rear backrest. I'm going to put the backrest in first. Um, but there's, you can see a little key here on the shaft, on the pivot shaft. Then there is a slot for that. So the seat has to be that sort of 45 degrees facing forward to fit into that keyway slot. Then you can slot it all the way in. Uh, and behind, behind here's two bolts to go onto the bracket. So let's go do that now. The collar, there's a little plastic cover may stay inside there. You need to pull that out and get it on the seat to start with. Trust me, you need to do that. If this, you can see the key sticking out here. So if the back is uh, forward, uh, normally sits up here, if you fold it absolutely flat, uh, so it's, it's, it's horizontal, the key will be in the right place on the pivot shaft. Then you better slide it in and do the bolts up on the other side. Let's give this a go. Once it's in that side, uh, you need to align these brackets here, the bolt holes. Let's do that now. The bolts you're going to use, and they're 12 mil. Notice you want to get the flap out here so you can get to the bolts. There's a little plastic fitting that holds this down. And it's just one of these wide flat push studs. That's it. Then all you do is clip this rail into the channel. Test that it closes. It does perfect. So that's in the right place. Like a champ. Right, so hopefully we can get the next one in. Collar stuck in here, so we'll pull it out, get it ready, and we'll insert it onto the chair the back, lining that channel up. There you go, dead easy. Same thing here, there's a key. So as long as the seat back is facing flat, it will go straight in. And we've got the space we need. There you go. Right, it's engaged. And now we want this bracket. Inside there. Let's get these 12 mil bolts back going on. Again, Oops, easy, and then we get the covers in there and over this side, and we're done. <laughs> so now it's going to do the seat squab. Um, so it hooks underneath the center here. So it'll grab, so there's a piece of uh, a steel hook. That's you need to angle it in underneath. Then there are two 12mm bolt fittings just in the front in the footwell. Dead easy. Um, these, incidentally, are your isofix fittings. When you do this, make sure your uh, seat belts don't get tucked underneath. Uh, keep an eye on those. Um, yeah, good. Okay, so this is the underside of the rear seat. This is that little hook I was talking about. So you need to make sure that is slid underneath, that's important. And these are two drop-in fixtures. Let's go get it in. So the way I like to do this, I'll, I'll bring in the back of the seat. Um, just angle it up, put my fingers down here, so I can feel that hook and feel it as close as I can to the actual captive hook. You've got quite a long width, quite a width here, so you're not really going to miss, but you've got to get it down underneath it. And as you start the process, um, Get all these out, you know, through 
onto the squab itself. All of these seat belt. So you want to be at this point, so the squab's just angling back in. All of your seat belts are not going to get dropped down. And you angle it, pull these through as you go, and get that hook down here. Can't really see, you can see the hook. You need this, the seat squab to be hooked into that. Yeah, we've got this through the other side. Done. Let's go do the other side. Same. Get the seat score all the way back in. Shelf in. That's doing. There you go. That's in. That's all good. Final piece. We're going to hoover the spiders off of it. 